Firstly, I'm going to talk about team SOBs. Do you know what SOB stands for? I know how you're thinking, right? Uh, I know, no, no. I know every office has got one too. No. In the coaching business, we call this specific observable behaviors. Think about this. The only way that you can assess whether somebody is doing what they're doing is two things. One, evidence in the environment. Sales are going up. And specific observable behaviors. If somebody says, that I'm going to increase my sales calls by 30%, and you're watching, and you're listening, and you're looking at that person, and that person is displaying all the, all the behaviors, making phone calls, right? Going out, telling you afterwards what happened. If you see this increase and an increase in sales, you can probably deduce that this person is a productive member of the team. So instead of looking at opinion, accepting intentions, I really encourage you to take a look at SOBs, specific observable behaviors. Now, when we challenge people on our team that they are not doing the right SOBs, guess what? They, ex they will accept it more than we challenge them and say that you're lazy, you're stupid. So how many of you think you want to go back now and now start looking at your people's SOBs, specific observable behaviors, because I like to encourage you to catch your people doing things right. Yes, go about and try and catch them doing, most of the time we go around trying to catch people doing things wrong. Go around and try and catch them doing things right, because then when you encourage your climbers on the team to express what we call productive SOBs, things happen, the goal is reached. So it doesn't matter whether you're climbing the mountain or whether you're in the workplace, the same principles apply in getting a particular result. 